What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're in the Keys, Island Rada, Florida to be exact. And this is the Alligator Reef Lighthouse. We caught a huge grouper yesterday. Holy man! Woo! Look at this stud. Wreckfish! Woo! Nice grouper. Looky, that yeah. fish is bigger than you! <laughs> Yeah, it is. Look at the mouth. Your, your head could fit. Your head could fit in his mouth, Luke. Almost as big as Luke. Almost as big as Luke. Woo! Woo. Look at the size of that eyeball. Hey. We got one. You got one. It ain't a monster, but I tell you what, if I was gonna eat one. I'd rather eat that one right there than the bigger one. So we got dinner. Can Look at that eyeball. Pull it right here. Oh, you got it. Good job, Woo. Luke. Mm. Look at this. Let's go put him me. on ice. Look at this size of his mouth. Woo. And in today's video, we're going to cook it. But first, I'm going to show you what the Keys has to offer besides just fishing. Look how beautiful this water is. So Jackie, Jake, and Luke are already over there swimming underneath the lighthouse with their snorkeling gear. I'm going to get in and show you how amazing this water looks from underneath. If you ever get a chance to come out here snorkeling, bring a chum bag with you and some chum. Put it in the water and watch what happens. Thousands of little dog snapper and mangrove snapper. I'm going to swim through this huge school right now. You touched the shark! All right, y'all, Alligator Reef, Isla Mirada, Florida. Even those of y'all that fish here all the time and pass this lighthouse on your way out every time, bring your family and your kids here and let them snorkel, bring a bag of chum. I promise you it's one of the prettiest places on earth. Now we're gonna pull the anchor and go out a little bit deeper and show y'all another reef that's not far from here, but it's totally different. All right, so we're here at the next spot. You can see though, we've only moved about a half mile. What are you seeing down there, Jake? Barracuda, coral, all kinds of stuff. Alright, so back to the wreck fish. That's a huge wreck grouper, but it's not as big as they get. It's Jackie's first. I'm so proud of her, and I'm glad she caught it because, hey, when you're on a boat and you're fishing, it's all about teamwork. All I want to do is eat it and make a video out of it. Her catch it, I catch it, Jake, who cares? Somebody caught it, and that's a key word. Beautiful fish, though. Shout out Captain Nick Stanzik, and if y'all haven't checked out Stan's fam, go check it out. But right now I'm about to get in here and show you the bottom because this is a little bit deeper and there's a bigger reef. If you're ever out here, you see these white buoys with the ropes hanging off of them, like what I'm hooked up to? Take the time and hook up to those buoys. Don't throw your anchor out because your anchor dragging across this reef will kill it and really, really scar it bad. It's just, 
a no-no out here. Take care of our environment and then our kids and our grandkids will get to enjoy it. Now let's get in the water. All right, y'all, what an awesome day. We're done. We're loading up the boat and we're headed back to my house in Stewart, Florida to cook up that awesome wreck fish. But first, let me show you how we cleaned it. Then I'll see y'all at my house. All right, y'all saw us catch it. Now you're about to watch me clean it. A wreck grouper. This grouper was in a thousand foot of water. Actually deeper than that. Almost 1,100 foot of water. And we're gonna consume every ounce of this fish minus the bones. So for those of y'all wondering about my knife, this is my seven inch Danko. And they are highly recommended and super sharp. And they're less than 30 bucks. That's the crazy part. Look at that big, huge flay. Mm. Let's knock the skin off of it. I always leave just a little bit, just a little bit for my fingers to hold on to. And it's sort of a push and pull technique. This fillet is almost too long for this fillet knife, or too wide I should say. Because it being a seven inch knife and this fillet is about nine inches thick. See, I just messed up a little spot. Take my knife. Peel it off. Mm. Wash it off and it'll look even better. So anytime I'm cleaning a fish and it has a bloodline on it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Just like so. Mm. Look at that. So good. The coolest thing about cleaning the fish here at Bud's is feeding the tarpon afterwards. And Jake's already told me, don't throw any scraps out. All right, so we just got done cleaning all the fish. And I so badly want to make a video out of this grouper head, but we're here for like four days. For those of y'all that watch Captain Nick Stanzik's YouTube, Stans fam, y'all know this guy. What do they call you? Jamaica Mike. Jamaica Mike, you like grouper head? Yeah, man, yo, this is sweet. Look at that. Yo, awesome. The throats, everything. Yo. I cleaned it for you. Look much respect. That. Much respect. I love how you deal with it, yo. Hey. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Bridget. Yeah, man. Much love and respect. This you know come, what to this... do with that? Yeah, man. I'm going to make a decent soup with this. Yeah, man. When straight. are you going to do it? Uh, yo, I'm going to do it as soon as possible. I'm going to try it for tomorrow, you know? Well, then if I'm here, you better call me over and give me a bowl. Yeah, man. Definitely. Of course, yes. Hey. Yeah, this is sweet. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, Be man. kind. Much respect. All right, y'all. That's what it's about. Be kind to one another, and all this hate in the world will end. That's the only way it's ever going to end is be kind. Say when. When. Y'all, look at that. I barely brought any of that wreck fish home because we wanted to share it. Jackie caught it. I gave her some. I brought some, but we're eating this at my dad's birthday party Sunday. 
Right now we got Kelly Young behind the camera, my friend Amber right here. Hey. Hiding. We got some Dano seasoning, some tempura, because we wanted to try something different. I made an awesome sauce that I'll get to in a second. But first, let's cook some grouper. So I've cut it up into about chicken tender sized pieces. Put a little bit of Danos on both sides. Flip it and repeat it. Flip and repeat. All right, so I've never cooked with tempura before, but we were looking for my flour and I couldn't find it. And I had this box and all I did was read the directions and we're about to do it this way. Got me this little fancy dancy thing in the jigger right here. Your chopstick? My little chopstick. <laughs> So we just filmed a video on Kelly Young's channel today. We went out spear fishing and caught one of the biggest lobster I've seen in a while. And yes, it's not lobster season. So we turned it loose, but we will get it here soon. Just a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Y'all leave a comment below about my last video with Captain Nick Stanzik. I didn't want to show both fish in that video, but I definitely wanted to cook both. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go out and do a snorkel video and I'll make this work. And I think I did a pretty good job. And also tell me if you want me to do more underwater videos like that. They get a lot of positive comments. So I'm thinking y'all like them. So we're just winging this. But now I put them in individually <laughs> and I don't know which one I dropped in first. So hopefully it turned brown quicker than the rest. I think it should be fine. Only a few seconds of Alright, Kelly, tell everybody what your channel is. My channel? Yep. Well, it's my name, Kelly Young. I do fishing, free diving, spear fishing, anything to do with the ocean. Tell them that you also filmed my biggest video ever. I did. I helped you film the catching iguanas. Yep. Yeah, that was that was a fun day. And you swan dove into the water. 4.8 million views. <laughs> did you think I was gonna catch the one when I jumped in on him? No. Oh. <laughs> Anyhow, y'all check her channel out. Super cool. I just did. Actually, she was on my Barracuda video. I was down with her and Judah, and they're in Miami, and they spearfish a lot. She comes back and forth between Miami and Stewart. So I think we're going to do a video tomorrow night on the airboat, watching her throw a fish gig. Ooh. We're having some serious grease explosions right now. <laughs> you wear some goggles. Where's your I got one of these... Screens. <laughs> hey, my cleaning lady's done hit everything on me. I don't know where everything went. Oh, I think I saw it. Where? One of the 700 cabinets I have? Uh, yes. Maybe not. Where? I thought I saw it somewhere. I know one thing when they start floating, that generally means they're done. They're done. I found your screen. It was right here the whole time. I've been sitting here blocking grease from hitting me, and we looked everywhere for my grease screen. And while we're just sitting here not filming and talking, joking around, I'm like, or Kelly goes, uh, it's right there. So we're a day late and a dollar short. We're down to our last piece. I think it turned out pretty good, actually. Good, too. My first batch of tempura fried grouper fingers. Tempura? I can't even say tempura. tempura. It's sort of tempura. like scallops. You know how you say scallops? Yes. It's like tempura. <laughs> Some scallop tempura. Tempura. So I'm just going to make one big plate. None of us have the COVID. If we do, we already lived through it, and it's not going to kill us. Just so we don't have to sit down at the table, because Kelly's got to get home to make her video. And I got to finish editing this video. Now, Kelly is, I will say, sort of a health freak. She eats really, really healthy. They take care of their body. So this is a step out, out of her comfort zone. It is indeed. Now the sauce, it's pretty simple. Mamacita's oyster, ginger, garlic, soy, honey, and lime, and mix. Just like that. Mm. Look at that, though. Looks pretty good. But can y'all smell it? No. <laughs> so we just did a yellow jack video on her channel and we ate the fish raw. Y'all have to go check out Kelly Young's. Now let me hold the camera and y'all eat this. Oh. All right, let's see. What is going on here? Let's see. I'm just going to finger food. It's called, it's finger food. Oh, it's hot. All right, I'm going to try it without the sauce first. 
Could have probably let it cool down a little bit. That'd be no fun. Now she's totally not used to this type of food. She's like butter and a little bit of olive oil. Butter and sea salt. That's all I, butter, sea salt, and garlic is all I use for my food. Oh yeah. It's good. The it's grouper, hot. Hot. The grouper's a little chewy. What about it, Redneck? Yeah, no, I cooked, I actually did cook a little bit the other night at Nick's and it was pretty chewy. I think it's because it's such a big chunk of fish. Mm -hmm. You guys see my hands have finally healed? This catfish did a number on me. It's good though, but it is it is a chewy the chewiest grouper I've ever had. But it's not too it's not like a bad chewy. It's really good. It's soft. Why why are you so sunburned? You been down in the keys or something? Yeah, a few days. Huh? <laughs> Redneck, they didn't even drop you a scrap? I did, he didn't want any. Yeah, he's what? not like Judah's dog. He doesn't eat fish. He's sort of high maintenance. Oh. This is like that one. Did you try the sauce? The sauce makes it. The sauce, mm. sauce makes it. For sure. Definitely makes it. Ready? Mm. Yeah. That was good. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all seen it. That was just a video I threw together. I hope y'all enjoy it. I always let people eat my fish because I sit down and edit and I don't have an appetite. I hope y'all like all that underwater footage. And if you do, leave a comment below and I'll keep doing it. Check out Kelly Young's channel. Check out Nick Stanzik's Stan Spam. His YouTube's awesome as well. Check out Bud Mary's Marina. Hey, thanks for all the positive comments. Thanks for all the love. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.